Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So out on the training pitch, actually just got done with the session, but I've been training with the Bistera soccer training boys today, putting me through my paces, very tough session. So there's a chance I might be playing as a striker in the next coming weeks. So I came down here to get a bit of work in, do some striker movements, working with somebody who's been a center back at a very high level, who's gonna put me through my paces. So I got a lot out of today's session. It was a rough one, but that's the kind of things I need, taking myself out of my comfort zone to challenge me so that I can progress in my playing journey so hope you guys take a lot of value out of today's session make sure you check out the beast era boys i'm going to put links in the description to their instagram their youtube their website if you want to book a session with them you can also do that through their website but they also provide a lot of free content for you guys to improve as footballers so all of that will be in the description box below but let's get right into the session so we began the training session with a good 10 to 15 minute warm-up, starting with some basic dynamic movements, jogging backwards and forwards to get the blood flowing, get the muscles activated, before going into some more explosive exercises. Today is all about off the ball movement. So you really want to be sharp in those movements to lose your defenders. So if you're doing these types of training sessions, you want to make sure your body is fully activated, not only to prevent injuries, but also to allow you to go through those exercises more efficiently, more explosively, so you get more out of the session. And now we're just going through some basic footwork patterns, starting off very lightly. We always want to start lightly and then build up the intensity gradually. So just going through the cones, getting some different movements, twists and turns. As a footballer, you're moving in all directions on the pitch, so you want to include multi-directional work in your warm-ups as well. Good, nice and easy back, nice and easy back. And go. Good, round we go. Good, shuffle those feet. Always a shuffle, yeah, always a shuffle, different way. Good. Good. Round we go, nice and easy. And then the final part of the warm up was to get me really activated before going into the main portion of the session. So some fast feet and then some balance and stability work. So balancing on one leg while receiving a bit of pressure from the pad. Then I'm having to volley the ball back to the feeder. And then it's a quick agility course. So going around the cones and the poles Then the ball's played out. And whether the ball's played on the ground or in the air, I've got to get it under control and then passing it towards my target. So just getting my muscles nice and activated, a bit of accuracy work, and also some balance and stability. Ready? Fine. Good. Up. Oh, that's it. Good. Just get used to the balance of the contact. Good. Good. Go. Good. React. Down. Good. Like that. Good. So then we went into the main portion of the session, first starting with no pressure on my back. So just getting a bit of technique work in. So all I'm doing is checking in front of the mannequin to receive a pass. I'm getting the touch out of my feet with a negative touch. So taking my first touch away from the goal to create space if there was a defender on my back. Then I'm playing the ball out wide, acting like there will be a winger there. So playing it into that zone and then receiving another pass, bouncing it back to my central midfielder and making an off the ball run to then receive it again. So really working on those off the ball movements, accelerating onto the ball and then trying to finish on goal. Yes, yep. Well done. Love it. Love it. Yep. 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 Good. Yep. Good. Yep. Good job, mate. Give me one more of them. Okay. Yes. Yep. Good. Yep. Good. Well yep, done. relax, well done. So now we're introducing the first bit of pressure. So I'm having to scan over my shoulder to see which side James is checking into. And whichever space he checks into, I have to take my touch to the opposite side and then find the ball wide and then receive that bounce pass once again. Right now, as you're in here, what do you use? Are you using movement to create the width or the angle of the ball to create the width? Angle of the ball. Angle of the ball. For the next two, I want you to stay central, yeah. right? And we're focused on the movement now. Okay, so as you play it in, right? It could be out here, right? Turn your back rather than that drop step. That takes a little bit more time. Okay. If you just turn your back on the ball but create width and just mark the run around, then you can come onto that with the left of the That's great. All right. Love it. Yep. Movement. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Yep. Play it, 
play it, play it. Good. Yep, yep. Movement to create weight. Good. There. Yep, yep, yep. Finish. Come on. And then we added some more pressure. So Matt has been a centre back for many years, played at a very good level. So he's given me some pointers on how to use my body effectively. Being side on to create distance between the ball and the defender, using my arm to create even more distance and be strong. It's gonna help you be stronger on the ball. So this is allowing me to separate away, working on that first touch, whether I'm spinning, bouncing it back to my central midfielder, we're working on a variety of different movements. Then sometimes I'm spraying the ball wide to where another coach is, and then he's playing the ball in, and I'm just working on finishing from crosses as well. Yes, yep. Good. Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. 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 Yep. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. Go on, great second touch. Ah, oh, you got you. Time, time to cover. Yes, yep. Love it. Great Fine. touch. Finish. Yep. Oh. Why, James? And then for the final 10 minutes of the session, I'm just working individually, receiving the ball with my back to goal, spinning on the mannequin, and then firing the ball towards the goal.
So that's the session complete, a lot of things well out of my comfort zone today, playing with my back to goal, with the defender on my back, giving me some pressure, so putting me off my first touch, making sure I have to check over my shoulder to see their positioning. These are all things I'm not used to as a winger. Hopefully be able to get another session before the end of the week with these guys, sharpen up a few striker movements and get a lot more finishes. And it's great having the goalkeepers down as well to really make sure I'm having to put the ball in the corners. So hope you enjoyed that, took away a few pointers from it, some exercises that you can do with teammates. But I hope you enjoyed today's session. And if you did, make sure you smash the like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos. And we'll see you guys in my next video.